So from my point of view, the first thing you want to get is as many passive abilities as you can. So increasing your assassination damage, uh, increasing your weapon damage, your gear, uh, defense, how much you take from uh, that, and how much uh, ranger damage, how much bow damage you deal. So those are a bunch of different skills, but I'm going to count that as one. Uh, my second favorite skill would probably be Rush Assassinate, so being able to bounce from target to target, uh, hitting and assassinating multiple uh, people at the same time, like it, it's a perfect skill. And then the third one would be uh, Shield Breaking. So being able to take away a shield from an enemy, you might not see many of those on Kefalonia early on, but once you do start seeing the Spartan soldiers and the Athenian soldiers, they have a lot of shields, and being able to throw away their shield and take it out of the fight totally uh, makes it a very, very effective tool. Uh, definitely after you've uh, acquainted yourself with our, our new fight system, controlling, uh, either dodging or parrying, you'll find that positioning is very important in order to win a fight. So in my opinion, uh, getting bull rush pretty early on gets you in and out of tricky situations uh, very early and very easily, uh, whether you're in a group fight or on a large scale uh, conquest battle. Uh, personally, I like uh, uh, spread shot. Uh, it's not necessarily long range, but it's nice to kind of get out of a situation and then you can still attack and do a massive amount of damage with spread shot. Uh, so you shoot three arrows at a time and then you can get right in by using bull rush right afterwards. So uh, it's pretty efficient. How can this be? <laughs> So before the fifth level, all right, because at the fifth level, you want to pick up heal if you're struggling a little bit with the game. You want to be able to heal in those bigger fights probably. Uh, but before that, like the first one, I always get, I can't get, uh, I can't play without Sparta Kick, so I need that. Uh, so I play Sparta Kick, and then uh, I do pick a cr Critical Assassinate from uh, the Stealth Branch, because it allows you to pretty much uh, kill uh, targets that are a level above you in stealth, so which is uh, very practical. And then the predator shot uh, is probably the, the, the most fun one as well because you get that, that homing missile uh, going on and it's actually pretty practical to uh, start up fights without being detected so you can do that from further out and then stay in the bushes. Uh, at first, uh, I think uh, some players will uh, want to know what's going to happen because our main story is super interesting. Uh, but uh, make sure you uh, cover uh, a, a lot of quests in one region before uh, uh, transitioning to another one. You really, I think, need to uh, uh, take notice of all the little details, the side quests that you're going to do at first on the island of Kefalonia, for example, might have big consequences uh, later on. So making sure uh, you take your time on Kefalonia, uh, do most of the quests uh, to have kind of a sense of uh, what types of choices are offered to you as a player. That's stupid, but you should climb the, the Statue of Zeus and climb all parts of the Statue of Zeus and then you'll see what I'm talking about. So I think a super important thing to do would be once you get to Megaris, start searching, start exploring. You're going to find uh, at least one tomb, and in that tomb you're going to get an extra ability point when you complete it. So that's really, really helpful in the early game to get you going with your abilities. Megaris can be tricky, you know, uh, as a pro tip, you know, pro, big pro. Uh, take, care of, uh, take care of the mercenary before going into battle. That will make your life a lot easier. So if you're watching this and you're struggling with it, that's probably a good thing to do. Icarnos, uh, just take care of him before, before the battle starts. And you could always, if, you, if he's in the battle, you can always uh, go, go take him out, but that's, a, that's a, a character that you don't want to mess with. This has been quite profitable. Maybe I should hunt down more mercenaries. And then once you uh, leave Kefalonia, uh, there is an island that you should fully explore, and the uh, Bay of Corinthia. 
that has some little secrets here and there. So, uh, and, and some good rewards as well. But uh, between you and Megaris, there's an island there. You, you might want to drop by and take a look at what's there. Thank you.